when it comes to interview one question is most promising one that difference between function overloading and function overriding so now let's see what is overriding what is function overriding for that let me give you an example let's say this is your base class name base in base class we have created a function name msg message okay in message we have printed a message that it is a base class simple after that we have created a derived class and inherit this base class in this derived class we have created the same function that we have created in the base class many of you might be thinking which function would be called according to you which function should be called for that let me give you an example let's say you have a old car now you want to add some new features into that car so you went to some garage or mechanic shop now that mechanic added some advanced features into that old car now when you ride that car after the modification then what will you feel you will get the feel of that old car or you will feel some new improvement exactly you will feel new something new into the car because there is something modified into the old car similarly when we have some older functionality and in derived class we try to make that functionality again or modifies that functionality again in the derived class then when we create the object of that derived class and call that function then the function of the derived class would be called because it is the most latest version of that function so when i create the object of the base class and then i call this function then it will call that same function of the base class but when i create the object of derived class and then i try to call that function then it will call only the latest function the latest function with the added feature into it so this is called function overriding so what is function overriding redefining functionality of the base class into the derived class then if we create a object of the derived class then it is going to call the functionality which is in the derived class it means this function is overridden by this function in the derived class so this is called function overriding so i hope this concept is clear to you excellent with the previous lecture most of you were in a doubt that what if i want to call this function in a base class and i don't want to create object of the base class then what should i do for that the concept is very simple you can call the function of the base class in this way class name scope resolution and the function name will call the function in the base class pretty simple right now for the more better understanding and the practical demos we will hop over into visual studio so i have already created the skeleton of the program now start writing it further first i am going to create a function name msg and print a message that it is a base class and after that i am going to create that same function in the derived class now let's create a object of this derived class now with this object let me call this message now what should be the output now let's run this program yes absolutely right it is a derived class this is because of the function overriding the derived class function has overridden the base class function. now let's try to call the function in the base class which has been overridden scope resolution and message now let's run it again and see the output so first it had printed it is derived class due to this statement after that due to this statement that base scope resolution message it will print it is a base class so i hope function overriding is pretty clear to you so now let's put the learning into our mind map 
so the first thing is redefining functionality of the base class in derived class second thing is derived class object will call function of derived class first because as we have discussed it will try to access the latest functionality third thing is derived class can explicitly call function of base class with this syntax base scope resolution and the function name clear